Now that we know what qualities it takes for a product to be considered a winner, it's time to put it to the test and begin to start picking products to place on our store. In this lesson, we'll be covering what to know before we search for products, six proven methods to research products, and how to create a product list on Google Sheets for organized brainstorms while doing product research. Before we even start looking for our products, here's a couple things that you should definitely know. Only dropship products that have good stock photos, unless you're gonna order those products you're yourselves as samples and you're going to be taking your own product photos. Another thing to keep in mind while doing product research, don't get shiny object syndrome and remember the winning product requirements and the qualities and what to stay away from while conducting your product research. Don't just hop on what everybody else is doing because that's going to leave you with no results. While you're doing your product research, only browse for like 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And that's what I personally do, because if you browse for too long, you're just gonna dull your senses and you'll start picking bad products. And yo, this is like a really good product research method because all the work's pretty much done for you. Go to YouTube and go to the Sell This Now channel. This is gonna be the first method. And basically what they do is they just make a bunch of videos displaying winning products and what they are. I could show you an example. Hey, this is Sell This Now. And guys, Everything. while you're going through these videos, Literally skip right through it. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Like go from product to product. If that doesn't look cool or fit your niche, go to the next one and just keep going and just relentlessly work through it until you find a good potential product. If you're not getting anywhere, move on to one of the other product research methods and keep trying different product research methods mentioned in this video until you find the one that works best for you. And if you want to optimize the speed of this method, literally just open up all these tabs at once and let's say let's do like 10 videos at a time and then just go from the video, go through it. Once you're done with this one, go to the next one. Once you're done with that, go to the next one. This is my second product research method. This is like actually my favorite one. Literally just manually search AliExpress for products, but I have rules. Browse different categories and use the search bar and only sort by four stars and up while you're looking for your products. I sort by orders and I look for unsaturated products. I don't just look through the front page. I look for products under a thousand orders that haven't really hit the market yet. So I'll go a couple pages down and this is optional, but you can sort where products are shipped from for quicker shipping times. If you want to find a supplier that uses US shipping or ships from Turkey, depending on where you're selling your products to. The only problem, there's less of a product selection if you sort by US supplier. Let's dive into AliExpress and let's go see if we can find the product. I'm going to say desktop vacuum. We want to do this and we are kind of in like the household cleaning industry and we want to get a product where we could clean our desks. So all of these look good because these are under a thousand orders. Um, we're going to sort by four stars and up. This one isn't good because it has too many orders. This one's too saturated. This looks really cool and it has like no orders. So we would open that up. We would continue to scroll. We want it to solve a problem. We want it to be unique. Like this kitty one is definitely unique. Only 79 sold. The only thing is that there's a 4.6 star rating. So what you can do is you can actually go into the product and just scroll all the way to the bottom and look for more of these kitty vacuums and see if you can find better ones. Like this is a 4.7 star review. We can go to this one. This is a five star review. And then we're gonna go and see if the suppliers are good. This is a 4.9, but it's pretty unsaturated because there's not a lot of orders for it. It looks like an easy product to use. Go back to the other video if you wanna remember what qualities to look for in a product. If you wanna look through the categories, just click on categories and you have all of these categories open up. So let's go into something cool. We'll go into cycling and we'll see what's here. So we're gonna sort by orders and we're gonna click four stars and up and we're just gonna go through and we're gonna go a couple pages down because these are all over a thousand orders. So let's check the second page, scroll down until they're under a thousand orders. These are still above. We'll go to the fourth page and looks like we're gonna have to keep going. I'll go, I'll go to like the seventh page. Okay, these are under a thousand orders now. So now we're gonna look for a product that has winning product qualities. And once we find a product that really stands out and that's not on the market yet, we're gonna add it to our product list. Now, if we wanna sort 
by suppliers in only the US, click ships from, and we click United States. And these are all gonna be products that ship out of the US. And once you find a capable product that meets your brand requirements, make sure the supplier has a great rating. I'll teach you how to look for this later in the module. Product research method number three, you're gonna go to TikTok and search hashtags. Now I'm recording my screen on my phone, so you're in TikTok now, and you're gonna go to the Discover page, you're gonna go to search, and you're gonna look up the hashtag, TikTok made me buy it. And then after you type that in, just go over to the hashtag section, and then click on the TikTok made me buy it hashtag, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of products open up that are either unique or have a virality factor. They most likely blew up on TikTok to get up to the top of this hashtag. Because look, there's 9.6 billion views on it and you could just scroll through it and really see what catches your eye, look more into it to see if it has winning product qualities. You can do this with Amazon must-haves. You can do this with hashtag Amazon finds. You can do this with hashtag Amazon products you need. And there's more hashtags similar to these out there. So pay attention to the new trends as time goes on because this strategy or a variation of this strategy is always going to be relevant and it's always going to work. So test it on other platforms too. If TikTok is in a platform 10 years from now, you can probably do the same strategy on the next platform. Now let's move on to product research method number four and it's still gonna be on TikTok. We're gonna go back to the search bar and on TikTok search, you're gonna search a term and categorize it by either top or videos. Now you can filter and narrow down your search results to find relevant products. So I'm gonna go to the search bar right now and type in Amazon products you need. And then after that, you're gonna go into the top right to where you can filter. And then you're gonna scroll down and you are going to sort it by this month. And then we can also sort it by relevance or by most liked. You can try both and then after that apply and then we'll stay under the category top and you can just scroll down and see all of the products that people are using, the products that are going viral, and you can see how many likes these things are getting. They might be saturated, they might not. After you find products on here, take it to AliExpress to see if you could actually find the product there. Product research is a creative process, like it, it really is. So don't be afraid to test new ideas if you have one, if they make sense for your brand. If you're only gonna sort by relevance and by this month your whole life, and that's the only strategy you do, you're gonna miss out on a whole lot of other research. So so take what advice I give you and then expand on it and make it better in your own way to really find a good product that fits your niche and that fits your brand idea and that makes sense for you. This one's actually really cool. It's really simple and it's gonna help you out a lot. Product research method number five. You're gonna research competitor websites and browse their best sellers. I use this for idea generation while I'm picking my products to see which type of products are selling best in my niche. Go to Google. We're gonna type in a product name and to find the best sellers on any website, you're gonna go to their homepage and attach the text below to the URL. I'm just gonna type in face wand to see what pops up we're gonna scroll down and we'll we'll go here to I guess vanity planet what we're gonna do is click on the logo to go to their home page and once we're on the home page I already copied the script that I told you to add to the URL and we're gonna paste it right here and click enter and watch all of their best sellers pop up it's already sorted from best selling to worst selling so this right here is their best selling product that has like 11,000 reviews and the reason this is cool is because now we could get a great idea for what's selling in our niche go to your competitors go to some websites in your niche see what's selling best for them and take that into account while you're looking for your products and then product research method number six what we're gonna do for this method is we're gonna have relevant social media ads catered to us whenever an ad for a product Product pops up when you're browsing through Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the ad link, you're gonna add that product to your cart and you're gonna go and initiate a checkout. And then once you go back to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, etc., now you'll be labeled as an engaged shopper by that social media platform. That means when you keep repeating this process, you'll be shown similar products more frequently because they think you're very interested in that product. And what should you do as you're finding these products? While you're browsing potential winning products for your brand, you should create a list and store this research all in one place. I like to use Google Sheets in my Google Drive. We're gonna store our potential products all in one place 
and we're gonna green light or red light them so you know which direction you're taking your brand in and I'm gonna show you an example. After you find out what we don't need, remove the products you red light since you won't be needing them anymore. So I'm gonna go into this Google Sheet right here and basically it's gonna look like this. We're gonna type in product research sheet and let's say we're in the cooking niche. So I'm gonna say, okay, cookware product links and these are all product links for products that I found while conducting research. The good is the green, the red is the bad. So once you find the bad ones, we're gonna highlight them and delete them. You're also gonna go back here and fill the color in white. This little fill bucket is how you could fill it green, red, white, orange, whatever color you want. And now what I'm gonna do is highlight this and just bring it up to keep our list clean. Now, let's find a link on AliExpress so I can show you how to import it into your Google Sheet. We'll use this for example, but basically once you click on a product, this is gonna be the link. And if you just copy it into this sheet like that, it's gonna look ridiculous. So name the product and we could say Apple AirPods, even though they're not Apple AirPods, they're the fake ones. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click insert link and we're gonna paste the link from AliExpress that we just found into here. It gives us a quick option to go right to that product link. So you could see how helpful this is once you build out a whole product research sheet of potential winning products for your brand. As an action item for this lesson, I want you to test a couple strategies and see which one is the right one for you. Stick to what gets you the best results and what you have the most fun with. Start building your product list with relevant products in your niche. And since it's your first time doing this, you'll probably restructure the whole sheet by next week. So you live, you learn, it's a part of the process. Go ahead, do that now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.